Hello students, welcome to a new session of our mathematical world. Algebraic expressions and identities. In an aquarium park, we can see the fishes kept in different bowls or tanks. One day, Kevin goes to the aquarium park to buy some fishes. He likes gold fish and butterfly fish. He decided to buy them. The shopkeeper takes seven butterfly fishes and five gold fishes and transferred into a new bowl. Now, the total fishes in the bowl are 12. Am I right? Yes, of course. That is, five gold fishes plus seven butterfly fishes is equal to 12 fishes. Or five plus seven equals 12. Look, this forms an equation containing expressions on both sides of the equality. And we can see that these expressions contain only numbers or numerals. So we called it as numerical expression. Kevin decided to buy some more fishes. He saw some molly fish and neon tetra he takes five molly fish and three neon tetra. That is, total eight fishes. Then how many fishes are left in the tank? That is an unknown quantity. We can represent the unknown quantity using English alphabets A, B, C, D, etc., till Z. It can take different values and are called variables. If we take the unknown quantity as X, then we can write the total fishes in the tank before eight fishes were taken out was eight plus X. This is an expression which contains both number and variable. Such an expression is called an algebraic expression. Let's see some more examples of an algebraic expression. We can see some chocolates here. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chocolates. What will be the price of these 5 chocolates? I know what you are wondering right now. We can't say the exact price without knowing the price of 1. But we can say that the price of five chocolates will be five times the price of one. Here, the price of one chocolate is unknown. So let's assume the cost of one chocolate is X. Then the price of five chocolates will be five times X, that is five X. Can you find the perimeter of the rectangle? Of course we can but the length and breadth are unknown. Here also, define the unspecified length and breadth as X and Y. Then the perimeter of this rectangle is two times X plus Y, that is two multiplied by X plus Y. Now we have five X and two multiplied by X plus Y. All such arithmetic measures made up of variables and constants are called algebraic expressions. Can an expression have a fixed value? Let's consider the expression 3x minus 4y, which contains two variables, x and y. If we take x as 1 and y as 2, then 3x minus 4y becomes 3 times 1 minus 4 times 2. That is 3 minus 8 equals minus 5. That is, 3x minus 4y equals minus 5. If x is taken as 2 and y as 1, then 3x minus 4y becomes 3 multiplied by 2 minus 4 multiplied by 1 equals 6 minus 4 equals 2. That is, 3x minus 4y equals 2. From this, we understood that the value of expression changes as the variables 
x and y, accept different values. That is, variables can accept different values. The value of an expression depends on the value accepted by the variables. We can represent these expressions on a number line. We know how to represent a number or a constant on a number line. Let's see how we will represent 2 minus 3 and 2 plus 3 on a number line. For representing the expression 2 minus 3 and 2 plus 3 on a number line, we take 2 as initial point. Then, the position 2 minus 3 will be 3 units left of 2. And that of 2 plus 3 will be 3 units right of 2. Now consider the expressions x plus 3 and x minus 3. What will be their position on the number line? We can surely say that the variable x has a position from the origin, mark it as x. Then the position of x plus 3 will be 3 units right of x. Mark it as p. The position of x minus 3 will be 3 units left of x. Mark it as q. That is p represents the position of the expression x plus 3 and q represents the positions of the expression x minus 3. Now look at the expressions 3x and 3x plus 4. In the case of 3x, first mark the position of x. Then the position of 3x will be 3 times the distance of x from the origin. Mark it as a. This distance would be 3x. Now consider 3x plus 4. For that first mark 3x. Then what will be the position of 3x plus 4? It is 4 units right of the position of 3x. That is 4 units right of A. Mark it as B. This distance is 3x plus 4. Let's have a quick recap. Today we discussed variables, their values of variables, algebraic expression, and representing algebraic expression on a number line. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Represent the following in number lines. 12 subtracted from Z. 25 added to Y y is multiplied by 10, and then 7 is added to a product. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.